Yeah, so uh, as I said, I think what is critical here is that in building this capacity for, for all these partners and getting from partners, what is important for us, especially us as we're getting uh, 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 age, is to also build the capacity of the young people. Uh, and, and this is where this project has been very strong and in terms of uh, putting up the younger generation. So one is uh, Dr. Chikondi, uh, Chikondi uh, Makwiza, you are here. Chikondi. Uh, Chikondi yes, I'm here. Is, yes, Chikondi is a, is a data paid expert uh, in the project and uh, 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 from the Agri Engineering Department at Luana, who has been the coordinator uh, between us and Luxoft Technologies. And uh, we've got uh, Noel. Noel, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Thank you. Yes, so Noel is a young ICT uh, gentleman who joined our team uh, so that we can build his capacity uh, to be able to take on the ICT world. And, and we are very privileged to have him. And also then we have got uh, Sekiwa Matsimbe. So Sekiwa, you are here, you'll be talking as well. And uh, so Sekiwa is the one that uh, is the project manager. So uh, while I was more or less advising and directing the project, but the overall operations have been managed by Sekiwa Matsimbe. Like I also mentioned, the other partners are the Fisheries Research Institute in Uganda that helped us a lot to configure. We actually uh, more or less uh, use their, their template to develop our proposal and our work. Yeah, so activities that we have done so far. Um, uh, first, yes, Sekiwa. So we've managed to develop, yes, a Malawi database portal for data sharing. So it is currently covering, because we had two projects from GRAs, fish and pollinators, but we've got uh, one backend. Uh, and and uh, my colleague is going to talk to about that. By March 2020, we have technical specifications. Of, uh, we had technical specifications for Malawi portal with illustrations. Uh, we're using the Uganda Freshwater Portal, which was presented to users and partners. And since March to date, we have developed the landing page. Uh, the database has been developed. We have had a series of stakeholder meetings for technical input guidance. Uh, this has been very important to us because back and forth, the users were able to inform us on what they want to see in the database. So, and also, uh, it's improved ownership of this. So, so far, we've got the initial uh, data, database sets loaded, and also we're currently uploading some new data sets and finalizing the user manual. Um, second. It seems I'm ha sometimes I'm having a bit of a challenge with my laptop, but no problem, yeah. No problem, no problem. Yeah. Okay. I see this data portal and I think yeah. Chikon is going to say more about it. Uh, yeah. But secondly, uh, is the mobilizing publishing river data. So we've, we, we've got uh, the publishing sites is the Malawi portal, Malawi, uh, portal as well as the GBIF. Uh, we have collected literature from various places. Uh, we have got small museums at Luana, uh, Monkey Bay and Senga Bay. The one at Monkey Bay is in particular very interesting data because this is where you get data of the early explorers and all early biologists. So you get data from as early as data from Trevas, uh, uh, Rosemel, uh, McClough, all those kind of old gurus, uh, you, you still get the data here. And I think this is gonna be a rich data. And we're trying to get this data now onto the uh, portal and, and GBIF. So, so far we've mobilized over 3000 records uh, using ODK and my colleague Chikwant is going to talk more on the ODK app and uh, data mobilization is in progress. We have, take, we have trained 16 technical staff uh, in data publishing, and these are mostly from Luana and also from the Department of Fisheries. And also have had the orientation uh, of uh, IBAT as well as um, uh, ODK. 
Um, we've also collected data forms, have reviewed data forms from Department of Fisheries, and also those data forms have been aligned to the Darwin Call standards, and the fisheries research officers have been trained in data collection, as well as use of the collection app, the ODK app. We've done field testing, we've developed the mobile app for mobilization of data and monitoring. So that has worked well. So the whole idea is actually to reduce uh, time of collection uh, into the database. So it is straight transfer to the database. Again, we reduce, we reduce, uh, we reduce the, the errors. This is uh, to the right here, the lady is, uh, uh, on the ground is in secure Matsimbe in the field and uh, taking photographs and uploading them and showing forth immediately so that they can also be uh, uh, transferred and, and also checked later by the experts to ensure that the, the data which is collected, the fish species that are collected are exact, uh, are named exactly. And this is the ODK uh, on ODK on the phone and already entering the data and, and straight goes into the database. So that that is reducing the time for, for, for that. So this is uh, an overview. So what I've done is just to bring, to give you a, a quick overview of the project, uh, the team that is behind it, but also the partners uh, and a few things that uh, are going, are going to, we're going to do. So let me give to my colleagues the next to present. Uh, is it Chikondi and Sekiwa? Uh, uh, yes, Chikondi. Chikondi, yes, Chikondi, please. 